Hi, this is Kurt Barone, and welcome to another edition of File Law Roundup. Brad, uh, go ahead. Uh, take us through <laughs> the past weeks. Crazy week here, but uh, take us through the past And week. I'm going to tell you, you know, usually I've got a pretty good handle on the cases we discuss, and there are some here Fortunately, there are shorter ones that I just don't understand. But let's start with the the big bang, the shot heard uh, around uh, New York. And this is the um, lawsuit by some very high ranking FDNY chiefs against uh, the new FDNY, sort of new FDNY commissioner. Uh, they have now sued, as, as viewers may remember, um, we've already talked about this. And uh, they claim that the commissioner was removing them. There were, I forgot what they said, like 11 out of 18 who could run incident command. And she re removed like 11, 11 of them. And they've been ignoring um, their advice. And now what they allege is that this is all based on ageism, um, that this is. But, uh, oh, there you are. I didn't even know I was gone. Yeah. Yeah. You just locked up and you were gone. So, oh, but uh, yeah, I do want to just one thing What what, you know, the whole 11 out of 18, I think what that was is um, they have uh, 11 out of 18 that are qualified or experienced that dealing with third alarm or greater uh, incidents. Uh, so certainly they have hundreds of people who are, right. uh, you know, more than qualified, uh, you know, for first and second alarm. And there's a level of complexity, I think, that happens in New York when they get to those greater alarms, because you're talking about, you know, 100 to 200, 300 or more firefighters at the scene. And you've you got a lot of logistics that not that they can't command the operations, but it's all the logistics and communication and everything else when you have that many people. Right. So so here we have, and I'm not sure what we call it, but, you know, they're claiming ageism. They're claiming that because they're 60 or over that she's trying to get them out and get them uh, get them replaced with lower pay. And, you know, experience matters, as we know, in the fire service. So it's it's interesting. I, obviously, we can't comment. We don't know what the commissioner is thinking. Right? right. It doesn't look good. It's hard to allege. I'm, I'm going to say this. So Look, let's go back to McDonnell Douglas, right? So everybody knows um, they have made out a case. The uh, the uh, fire chiefs have made a case that, hey, we're all over a certain age. The same thing is happening to us. Um, we're all being, you know, disciplined or penalized or benefits cut or denied leave or all these things. We're being humiliated. Basically, the commissioner is coming after us. And the only reason they can come up with 11 of them or so, um, right, but what these senior chiefs have come up with saying, it's got to be ageism. They're trying to get us um, replaced with cheaper people. And I got to tell you, that is going to be a tough defense for the FDNY because what can you possibly have on this many chiefs, whether it's four, whether it's more, what do you possibly have on this many chiefs where you could say, we have we have a reason to be doing all these things to all of them. The only thing they have in common, presumably, is being senior and being over 60 or so. So, you know, I, I it's so hard to talk about this because in my mind, I'm thinking, listen, seniority and age go together. You don't get experience while you're young. You get experience when you get older. And in the fire service, it's just axiomatic that we are going to have senior people with significant experience who are older. So it's un incomprehensible to me to think that anybody would say we want to get rid of that experience just to lower the payroll, which in truth, We'll have no, no real that, impact. I don't think it's got anything to do with payroll. That's a that's a private industry uh, concern. I think what they've got, what you have here, is that she wants to take the organization in a more inclusive direction, in a in a certain uh, social and philosophical direction um, that doesn't align with the culture and traditions of FDNY. And when the chiefs point this out they're finding themselves at odds with her and she's accusing them of disloyalty or whatever. There's a few terms in there you can read, you know, in the complaint, misogyny and, and some other things. But um, the, she's she's basically interpreting them saying, look, we can't do it and this is why. 
as being evidence that they're not willing to be on her team, they're not willing to support her vision or whatever. And they're actually calling into question her vision and whether or not she's got the experience and um, uh, you know sort of institutional knowledge to be making those sort of policy decisions without any input from the vast experience level of those chiefs. So, and the past uh, commissioner came up through the ranks, served as the chief of FBI, if I'm correct, right? Most of, yeah. And that's well, that was one of the points. Most of most of the chiefs, uh, most of the commissioners came through the ranks, um, and did those who didn't heavily leaned on those who came through the ranks. And she's kind of taken a whole new approach. And you know, I mean, I you know, if she had run a business or she had successfully um, you know, done anything outside of the political arena, um, you would say, well, you know, she's got the credentials to be running a, a business. Now maybe it's not a fire department, but you know, maybe she could be running a Coca-Cola, a CEO of Coca-Cola, or you know what I'm saying? That yeah. she's got, but she doesn't have that kind of track record. And, and more um, than that, you know, last time one of their complaints was that. Um, like the SCBA committee, they have to buy like $50 million or some astronomical amount of new SCBA. And the chiefs were on the committee. And she said, we're not even on the committee anymore. She's making the decision with non-firefighters. I'm like, how do you do that? If you don't wear it, if you've never worn it, how do you make the decision yourself or or get rid of the people who do? So I, I, I'm, I'm blown away. It's hard to come up with anything. And look, disloyalty you know, she she could have a very simple answer. It has nothing to do with their age. It's just that the senior people, having nothing to do with their age, are just disloyal to me. And at the top, I'm not going to tolerate disloyalty. So I'm cutting the head off the snake. She right. could do that. All right. Um, and that's not she's ageism. Gotta, she's got to be able to prove it. A, you know, as and, do they, right? But right, she's right. better come up with something. But they have been attacking her. They have yeah. been disloyal to her because they're very outspoken against her um well, I, don't, I'm not I don't know what I, they were prior to i and you know i i'm not sure exactly when that's going to be all of the the proof right that right. is going to have to come out uh in the in the uh, litigation uh but if they were um disloyal and she can document it and say well this is here's here's this example here's this example here's this example but right. um you know again i th i think if she had um come through the ranks and she had the credentials to make independent decisions that she didn't need any subject matter expertise to assist her with. I, I think she'd been in a better position to make those kind of disloyalty arguments. But, you know, you you can't like it's just like you and I have spoken before about this. Like um, I, I've never been in the military. OK, I have got no business being put in charge of an aircraft carrier. That right. would be crazy. Right. And working uh, as a clerk or an administrator for the Navy for a couple of years that's doesn't good. qualify me to run an aircraft carrier. It's, right. it's pretty much as simple as that, you know. And um, so, I, you know, that that is a concern. And, and you aptly point out, though, that um, qualifications in a, in a position like this really are the function of the mayor to decide, <laughs> you know. Um, and, and, you know, like it or lump it, but, um, right. you know, the mayor feels she's qualified, um, you know, that's, you know, you can, you can fix it at the, uh, the election booth. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Well, not Manhattan, you can't, but, uh, you know, if, maybe if the FDNY comes out against them, but I, look, I, 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 you know, I sympathize with the fire chiefs because I just, I, not that it's a legal issue, but I sympathize with them say, how, how are you though? I mean, these people are so decorated, so experienced. And to cast them aside and then say, well, I'm not going to listen to you and you have to support me for that, right? You you can't be disloyal to me. You have to support my decisions when they're not based on experience. I got a hard problem with that. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's ageism, right? She, she may be wrong uh, morally for casting them aside and even, you know, giving them a hard time for going after her. But nonetheless, that doesn't mean that the win the lawsuit wins the day. So. Well, we'll see. I mean, we could we could talk this one to death. And, uh, you know, maybe we can get somebody um, probably will need a retired FDNY uh, person who has in like intimate knowledge of all of the factual details. Well, I'm not going to name names, but uh, two of the, mo the, the most senior people who just left, I'm sure would be more than happy to come on our uh, show mm -hmm. if you want me to reach out and ask them to come on next week. It, it um, might not be a bad idea. Because uh, you know, we're, we're speculating. Let's face it, we're speculating. Right. And, 
Um, let me see if they want to talk about it. Let me let I will obviously I won't drop names, but once you see them, everyone will be like, oh, well, that's obviously what you're talking about. But um, you know, let's I I don't know what the loyalty of prior people are and if they want to get involved or not. But let me see if they'd come and have some uh, it would be a really exciting, interesting uh, thought. Let's do that. Yeah. I'm gonna reach out to them uh tomorrow morning and see if they want to come on next week.